ChatGPT is like having a genius with you all the time. It's true, you can have a conversation with the smartest AI that has ever been, and it's completely free, at least for now. It can help you learn about anything. Maybe you need to study or write some code or write some documentation and a whole lot more. But can it help you build stuff in the cloud? Just open ChatGPT, linked in the video description, sign up for the account, and a few seconds you'll be right here with me. Let's say you need to create something like a VM in Azure and you don't know how. So let's type, help me build a Windows virtual machine in the Azure portal. And there you go, there's the directions. It is that easy to get anything that you need. You could even do stuff like this. Let's build the same VM using Azure CLI. <laughs> you don't even have to know the Azure CLI. You just asked it in simple conversational language and it gave it to you. Now, maybe you wanna learn something else like how to write bicep code. All right, let's try, please write the same code in Azure bicep. <laughs> that is so cool. It looks like the AI is kind of smarter than I expected, but it does warn us down here at the bottom that bicep is still in preview. That's kind of weird. It is generally available and it does say this is just an example, but let's try it anyway. Click right here to copy and then we'll drop the script into VS Code and go to build it. <laughs> yeah, no, that didn't work at all. So what went wrong here with the formatting? Um, well, let's ask ChatGPT. The bicep code didn't work. The resource type is not in a valid format. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So it does remind us that this was just an example and suggests converting bicep into arm. And it even tells us that there is a VS Code bicep extension and that should give us some help too. But my question is, why didn't this work? When is the latest information you have on Azure Bicep syntax? Okay, that makes sense. Bicep has changed a lot since 2021 when the data set was uploaded. So we'll have to come back to this in our next video and see if we can teach the AI how to bicep. Right now, I still want my VM. So let's try, please convert the Azure CLI script to Azure PowerShell. Okay. Yeah, now that's more like it. And you can do this for any resource type in the cloud. Let's do this one. Please build an Azure virtual network called chat GPT dash VNet in the East US two region with four subnets, one Azure gateway subnet, two Azure fire firewall subnet, three Azure bastion subnet four application. <laughs> just like that. That is so cool. Let's drop this into VS code in our terminal and just press enter. Now jump over to the Azure portal and there is our new VNet with all of the subnets that we asked for. Now ChatGPT can help you in other ways too, but it is just a tool. Your greatest power is your ability to communicate with it and with others. And then you can take what it give you and adopt it and change it around and make it your own. Now, because this is a tool, of course that means garbage in and garbage out. So be specific in what you want. And if you don't know, it can help you learn. Kind of like this. What are Microsoft best practices to build Azure virtual desktop with FS logics for 1000 users? Include a disaster recovery strategy and tell me in four sentences. Okay, and these are some good principles to help you get started, but remember this is 2021 data and that's where the answer came from. But it does also tell you to check the docs for more details. So maybe something more specific, like how can I maximize user density while reducing cost for those 1000 users? And okay, those are some great answers. Reserved instances, hybrid use benefits, start and stop automation, scale sets are not kind of directly supported today. And normally I don't recommend spot VMs for AVD, but the overall strategy for the cloud is pretty good here. 
And of course, it doesn't know about things like scaling plans because they were invented after 2021. So here's one more thing that should help you a lot. The script for this entire video was actually written by ChatGPT. Now, of course, I did some edits to make it fit my style, but it normally takes me a few hours to think up an idea for a video and then to write it out and plan it. And this was a huge time saver. And you can take advantage of it when writing docs, reports, emails, or if you have to give a presentation, you could do something like this. Here is a presentation I must give. Please rewrite it and make it more engaging and then just paste in the text from your presentation and watch it work. Now just be sure that everything is still accurate and that it comes across as if you wrote it, but it doesn't have to stop there. Try this one. Add some humor and make it less formal sounding. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. This is so cool. But okay, you can see where all of this is going. Is AI ready to take over the whole world? No, nope, not by a long shot but AI can be a huge time saver for you and a big help, especially with all that boring stuff so that you can get back to learning what you want so you can accelerate your career. Write an outro for a YouTube video based on what we talked about, keep it to two sentences, and write it like a 10-year-old. Okay, so comment down below on how you think AI did with our challenge today, and let me know how you're planning to use it. And check out this follow-up video where I try to teach AI bicep and a few other things. Happy learning.